Hata karibu Mungu ndio ageuze ageuze sikio lake akusikize. When God is about to turn his ear and listen to you. Waacha kuomba. You are forsaking prayers. Wasema tangu niombe sijaona kitu. Saying from the time I prayed I've never seen anything. Cornelio aliomba. Cornelio has prayed. Daima. Always. Oh. Oh. Mungu akamwona huyu ana haja ya. God so this one really needed. Daima. Always. Dorcas naye, Dorcas also. Mwanamke kweli, is a woman all the same. Kanisani, in church. Lakini, but kinasema chuo. The book says, alikuwa amejaa matendo mema. She was full of good works. Na sadaka hizo zito. And the alms that she gave. Somea hapo verse 36. Read for us chapter verse 36. Na mwanafunzi mmoja alikuweko Yafa. Jina lake Tabitha. Tafsiri yake ni Dorcas. Yaani pa mwanamke huyu alikuwa amejaa matendo mema na sadaka alizozitoa. Endelea. Ikawa siku zile akaugua, akafa. Hata walipokwisha kumwosha, wakamweka orofani. Na kwa kuwa mji wa Lida ulikuwa karibu na Yafa, nao wanafunzi wamesikia ya kwamba Petro yuko huko. Wakatuma watu wawili kwake kumsihi na kusema, usikawie kuja kwetu. Petro akaondoka akafuatana nao. Alipofika akampeleka juu orofani, wajane wote wakasimama karibu naye. Basi hata waacha hapo. Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and alms deeds which she did. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died. Whom when they had washed they laid her in an upper chamber and for as much as Lida was nigh to Joppa and the disciples had heard that Peter was there they sent unto him two men desiring him that he would not delay to come to them then Peter arose and went with them when he was come they brought him into the upper chamber and all the widows stood, stood by him weeping and shewing the coats and garments which Dorcas made while she was with them. Amen. Amen. Kinasema, it says mwanamke huyu this hata anafikia kufufuliwa. She reaches a point of hata being resurrected. Wanakuwa, wa, wanakuwa na deni. People are indebted. Ya kuona huyu anastahili kuishi. Of ensuring that she lives. Amekufa kwenye lakini wanaona anastahili kuishi. She's died she's dead or all right but she has to live. Why? Maana alikuwa ametoa amejaa matendo mema. Because Mema. she was full of good works. Ya sadaka alizokuwa akizipa. And the alms that she used to give. Amejaa she's full matendo mema. Of good works. Amejaa she's full matendo ndo mema of good work si matendo mema tu not just leo ametenda mema is doing good work yesho ametukia tomorrow he has she has leo ametenda mema today she does good work akipazwa she's hapo attend mema when she of, she is offended Lakini she stops amepazwa but whether she is offended whether something yeah, yeah. and becoming has been done to her kutenda mema she was devoted in doing good work ifo kimokuja Death has come. Wale wakasema, Even the member said, "Let us not bury Muto her." Mema aye, huyu. One of such good works. A, no, let us not bury her. Tumuite, malimu, wetu, Petro. Let's call our teacher huyu Peter. Chimbeni, kaburi. When she says, "Dig the grave," chimba, kaburi. we will dig the grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.